Because the scientific method is not a system of thought as much as it's a process to access truth, is the only way that you can know, that you and I can both know that truth, as opposed to the mystic who, I believe that you feel that way, but I can't feel it. Scientific method is the only way that you and I together can believe in an in, in, in independent reality. I have several problems with that. Science is not a method for doing the truth. Science is a method for knowing partial truth. If we knew the truth, we wouldn't be making atomic bombs and we wouldn't be proliferating biological weapons of mass destruction. We wouldn't have created mechanized death. We wouldn't have caused climate change. We wouldn't be messing up the ecosystem with GMO foods or petroleum products in what we put inside our body. We call them insecticides. They're supposed to kill insects. We share the same DNA. Why wouldn't they kill us? So science, as we practice it today, is a map for partial truth. It looks at the universe as an activity that is independent of me. But me, me, the observer, is also an activity of the universe. And this is, this is what science doesn't recognize. Also, there are limitations to science. Okay, limitations, epistemological limitations. We depend on a nervous system that has evolved over 13.8 billion years. Why do we suppose it's not going to keep evolving? Okay, uh, a monkey doesn't have the same uh, uh, access to the truth as you and I have. So that's a bit of arrogance that I know it's a totally anthropomorphic, not even anthropic view. It's an anthropomorphic uh, view that I am this privileged species in the universe that has a nervous system that can access the truth. How do you know what's going to happen a thousand years from now, provided we don't uh, uh, cause mass extinction of our species and all other species through the technologies developed by science? So I find it totally ridiculous when somebody says that science is a map of the truth. You know, what happened at the Planck uh, scale? Uh, what happened in Planck time? Do we even know? There were no constants. The laws of physics break down. Okay. Why did the, why did the Big Bang occur when it occurred? And what do we mean by when, when there was no time? How can you have a datable event in time when time doesn't exist? And yet everybody buys into the Big Bang theory. Okay. Because if you're not buying into it, if you don't buy into classic modern neo Darwinist uh, interpretations of evolution, if you don't buy into the Big Bang as explained currently by science, you are subject to ridicule. You are stupid. You do not understand how science works. Explain to me, how do you have a datable event in time when there was no time? Tell me the location of the Big Bang, not only in time, but in space, because space didn't exist. Yeah, I asked, you know, I asked uh, one of the authors of the double dark theory of, uh, of uh, the universe. I said, where did the Big Bang occur? He said, everywhere. I said, everywhere. Oh, omnipresence. I said, and now we have how much energy? He says, almost limitless. I said, oh, omnip omnipotence. He said, and I said, where did it come from? He said, nothing. I said, omniscience. Sure. You know, you guys have created your own mythology and we buy into it without even questioning your mythology. We don't understand, you know, so you are willing to propose 10 to the power of 500 universes it, you know, even a computer would take eternity to count them uh, because you can't actually explain what's happening. And then you finally ask, where does science happen? You know, the activity that we call science, where are scientific theories conceived? In consciousness. Where are experiments designed? In consciousness. Where are observations made? In consciousness. What is empirical evidence? It's a species-specific mode of observation. It has nothing to do with fundamental truth. You know, this is, I have done science in my life and I'm amazed how we create truth and then buy into it and call it truth when it's an ideology. You know, I, I observe a moving 
biology. Your biology is not a constant. It's a moving thing, okay? I observe it. I freeze it. I kill it. I then identify something that I call a molecule, which actually doesn't exist because it's a movement. Okay, it's a flow. Now I call it. I give it a name, okay? Oxytocin. Then we all agree. Now it's reality. It doesn't exist. You know, what you observe, it really doesn't exist. Only the observer actually...